It's Saturday, 11th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Many parts of Kerala were grappling with a looming crisis yesterday as a heavy rainfall warning and tidal flooding alert looked to compound the worsening flood situation in the state. The State Disaster Management Authority issued a red alert for eight districts following a heavy rainfall warning by the Weather Office. The Indian National Centre for Ocean Information Services has also issued a tidal flooding alert for Kerala from August 11th to 15th. Idikki and Ernakulam districts were put on high alert and the district administration began preparations to evacuate families in anticipation of a flood situation following the decision to raise the shutters of the Cherutoni Dam to release excess water from the Idikki Reservoir. Over 6,500 families were expected to be evacuated from the downstream areas of the Periyar River up to Aluva in Ernakulam. Five people were reported dead in rain-related incidents yesterday, taking the toll to 27. More than 17,000 people across the state have been displaced by the floods over a period of less than 48 hours since the monsoon rains acquired momentum on Wednesday night. As many as 260 relief camps have been opened at various locations. A nine-year-old Indian chess genius won his battle yesterday to stay in the UK after the expiry of his father's work visa as the Home Office made an exception in this case due to his exceptional talent. Shreyas Royal had won a series of chess championships and is ranked number four in the world in his age group and has the potential to be a future world chess champion. But his father, Jitendra Singh's IT-related visa was set to expire next month when the family was expected to return to India. A number of British MPs had intervened in this case to urge the UK Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, to make an exception in Royal's case due to his exceptional talent. In a joint letter to Mr. Javid last week, opposition Labour MPs Rachel Reeves and Matthew Pennycook said that the UK would lose an exceptional talent if Shreyas were to leave. Their letter said, the UK should always encourage the world's brightest, most talented people to work here and make their lives here. Shreyas is recognised by the English Chess Federation as the country's greatest chess prospect in a generation. 2,500 Nagarik Seva Kendras or NSKs in Assam began issuing claim, objection and correction forms yesterday for people excluded from the complete draft of the NRC published on July 30th. NRC officials could not specify how many forms were collected, but they expect the pace of collecting forms to pick up within a week. Nearly 40 lakh of the 3.29 crore applicants had been left out of the complete draft because of the lack of sufficient documentary evidence of their citizenship, officials said. Assam Finance and Health Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma said that the government had only completed 30% of the work related to NRC. Five retired and serving soldiers have written to President Ramnath Kovind seeking his intervention to ensure that armed forces personnel are not excluded from the final NRC. We ex-servicemen, being bona fide citizens of India and natives of Assam, applied for inclusion of our names along with those of our family members in the draft NRC. Some ex-servicemen and their family members have been dropped from the draft NRC without any perceptible reason despite using legacy data such as the 1951 NRC and voters' lists up to 1971 as per the guidelines. The petition signed by honorary retired Captain Sana Ullah and four others said, India will triple its ethanol production over the next four years till 2022 and this will save 12,000 crore in the country's oil import bill, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said yesterday, which is also celebrated as World Biofuels Day. The Prime Minister blamed the previous government for not encouraging the production and adoption of ethanol, 
saying that his government had planned 12 biofuel refineries in the country at an investment of rupees 10,000 crore. The ethanol blending program was started during the Vajpayee government, Mr. Modi said. But previous governments did not take the ethanol program seriously. Now we will have to produce 450 crore litres of ethanol in the next four years from the existing 141 crore litres. This will result in an import savings of 12,000 crore. The government will achieve 10% ethanol blending in petrol by 2022 and is aiming to double it to 20%, Mr. Modi added. President Donald Trump's administration has quietly started cutting scores of Pakistani officers from coveted training and education programs that have been a hallmark of bilateral military relations for more than a decade, according to US officials. The move is one of the first known impacts from Mr. Trump's decision this year to suspend US military assistance to Pakistan to compel it to crack down on Islamic militants. The Pentagon and Pakistani military did not comment directly on the decision or the internal deliberations, but officials from both countries privately criticized the move. US officials speaking on the condition of anonymity said that they were worried the decision could undermine a key trust-building measure. Pakistani officials warned that they would push their military further to look to China or Russia for leadership training. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from Key Metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.10 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.54 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 80.09 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.39 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.04 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.35 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 84.54 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.76 rupees per litre.